Greetings. My name is Ralph E. Smith. Welcome to this edition of Street Beat Guardian Chronicle. Do you know where you're at? Take a look around. What do you see? You are in the heart of New York City, Brooklyn. Brooklyn's in the house and we are on our way to see a photographer and experience the world through his eyes. And of course, you know by now I'm talking about Kyle Graham. Come on, come on, come on, come on with me. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're gonna cross the street and we're gonna check out this big time new photographer. He's not new to the photography scene. He's new to the world premiere of his art exhibit. And we're talking about the world through his unique vision. Come on with me. Let's, 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 let's go walk inside. Let's go check out the exhibit. Because that's what's happening right now. 
Petr Stuyvesant, Crown Heights, a little East New York, just capturing the change that's, that's, that's current right now. So the question is, is this a bad thing or a good thing? I would say, in my opinion, it's where you lay when the lines are drawn and the smoke is clear. If you move to Brooklyn now, you're new, you know, you may be shocked and, and pleased at all the coffee shops and pet grooming shops and organic food uh, shops. And that may be great for you. But if you was born and raised in this area, just say for me, someone like me, and you see the new interests and what when I would go home and the interest is not for your benefit. It's not, you know, it's not blatantly as saying, oh well, you can't come here. No. But it's systematically a takeover. Yeah, it's a takeover. Brooklyn has lost its culture in my opinion. It's gone. The anti-social and the social world. I love this photo. I love it because it's dramatic. The message is, for me, the message I got from it. Hopefully you got something different and we can talk about it. The message I got it was that it's okay to be anti-social. Now, more than ever, we have become sociable on the internet, on the app, not in person. We've become addicted to living these lives of social media. The person you see on social media and the person you, you may come across in person in the street or somewhere tends not to be the same person. One of my favorite pieces in this entire exhibit is freedom is doing what you want. It's under that line. If you're stuck at a place you don't want to be, you're not free. Freedom is doing what you want. I like the message. I love the colors. I love the dramatic effect of the image. It's a motivation to me to always want to be free, to know that what freedom is. Freedom is me shooting the way I want to shoot, shooting photography the way I want to shoot photography. I don't do it with the influence of, of what you like of what you don't like. I'm not sure black and white because I like it. I'm not gonna Photoshop you to look fake because I don't think that's real photography. Freedom is doing what you want. It is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought I've accepted it. Aristotle. So stolen parts is a combination of different body parts from different people all walks of life. I did this to show that no matter your religion, your sexual preference, your political affiliation, any of those life choices, life choices, you are still a human being. It was to show and display visually that despite our differences, we're all the very same. The world is mine. This is one of my favorite pieces because not only is it dramatic, the dark shades and hard contrast, but I took this picture literally, literally after as I was taking this picture.
sure it was a motivation thing. It was a motivator. You can have anything you want if you're willing to work for it. No one can deny you of what you want if you're willing to roll your sleeves and get it. I don't think my environment, my race, my sex, those are not going to be factors why I don't get what I want. I'm not saying that because of who I am, it wouldn't be harder. But I'm not going to let that defeat me. And I took that picture thinking that the world is mine. So, so what you see here today is inspired by those thoughts, those ideas. And um, so I enjoy doing it. I'm glad you guys are here. Thank you. So we have, uh, we have a raffle going on. The winner gets a 16 by 20 of their choice. So pull out your raffle tickets if you have them. You got them at the door. No matter. But we're all winners, so if you have a raffle ticket and you want to purchase something, it's, it goes against your purchase. So if you have a raffle ticket, it's five dollars. You get five dollars off any purchase you want. Just show your raffle ticket. All right. All right. All right. So we have one last presentation, but before it starts, again, I want to thank you all for coming. Oh, I appreciate it so much. I appreciate it so much. Um, thanks again. All right, you guys ready? Well, um, this light needs to come on. To become a better father, a better man. Today I ask you to allow me to show you how much you mean to me. Will you take this journey and marry me? Someone stole my Brooklyn, and someone stole my heart. A king has found his queen. She said yes. He put the forever diamond on her hand. And may God continue to bless your plan. An outstanding photo exhibit. What makes this an outstanding photo exhibit? There's a message in the photo. Through my eyes, someone stole my Brooklyn by Kyle Graham. Photography with a message Photography with feeling. Photography with a social consciousness. Contact Kyle Graham at 917-847-0112. Kyle Graham. Through my eyes, someone stole my Brooklyn. For award-winning photography, photography you can feel down deep in your heart and your soul, contact Kyle Graham at 917-847-0112. Are you ready for a, a meal to feed your soul? 
to feed your mind, to feed your creativity with some outstanding photography. Contact Kyle Graham at 917-847-0112.